So exoskeleton line there. And then I'm gonna draw top of the eyes are gonna go here. Bottoms are gonna go here. Mouth is gonna go here. Now with the rule of girls is the eyes always the nose always goes underneath the eyes right between them. So this is gonna be the nose right here. Okay, it's gonna go with the normal nose. No nothing nothing too interesting. So I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look at lens really quick. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we're going good. Okay, so with eyes you wanna be really slow. Because as you draw them, they will come out. Now I do recommend not worrying when you draw the eyes. Because when you go into the your editing program, you are going to fix them. What I do in my editing program is when I go through my characters, I take the right eye, because the right eye is usually the good one I draw, since that's the way I draw my right-handed. My right eye usually turns out better than my left one, because my hand's used to drawing in this direction. Is My eye turns out really good on one character, but shitty on another. And most programs you can get can create perfect circles. So if you screw up making a circle, don't worry. Your computer program can fix it. Now, what I've done here is I have. <sighs> she looks too surprised, but that's just because I haven't finished her yet. Okay. No, she just looks evil. Okay. Can be solved. The way a character's eyes are is basically the way they look. This distinguishes a lot about them, so I'm going to make her eyes go up a little bit higher. And I'm going to fill in there, leave this part blank. I'm going to make her pupils bigger. And I'm going to adjust them more to the center so it looks like she's looking towards something off the paper. And there we go, it's fixed. Remember, this can all be fixed in the animation phase. Might be because you just have any eyebrows. That might be what you surprised. Let's get rid of eyebrows. Girl eyebrows are pretty simple. Depends if you want to do Gwen ones, which are like triangles, same with Lashana's, they're also Lindsay's. What I do is if I'm doing eyebrows, I just do this. Maybe not like that. It looks like she's surprised. Like, ooh. So, I just want to give her normal eyebrows. Okay, now here comes the most difficult part ever. I probably should have drawn, drawn that nose, but I'm going to go for it anyways. Yeah, see, drew the nose first. I buggered myself up using the stupid exoskeleton method. Shit. Pardon my language if you're a small child and you can't hear swearing, but I've boned this character. But don't worry, she might turn out looking okay. This video is going to be like half an hour long, just so you guys know. Crud. Yeah. Now I'm at a stall here. Don't worry, I can fix this. I just got to draw a line here really quick. Okay, I am going to go up. down. With girls you might you always want to add eyelashes. It helps a lot. Like I said, what I usually do is I usually just copy the eyes from right to left. But I'm going a little different today. This is looking actually pretty good. Okay, lips. Now there is a lip to chin ratio here. 
and I totally screwed it up. But I'm still pretty good otherwise. <laughs> so what you're going to do here is you're going to draw a line slanting down. Not too slanted. Depends if you want, what kind of lips you want. There's Gwen lips. If you look at Gwen's lips, they're a little bit thicker. Uh, no, there's Heather lips, there's Lindsay lips, there's Gwen lips, there's all different kinds here. And I'm just going to go with... I draw Gwen lips the best, so I'm just going to go with Gwen lips. They're not too slanted. They look okay. Not right there. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on a second. Yeah, about there. Should do it. Now these are always a pain in the ass to do, so I'm gonna. I have to move my body around when I draw, or else I can't get it. So I'm gonna move this to there. And the lips always start out small and go big. Here we go. One head. I'm just gonna zoom in on there for you guys, so you guys can see what I've been drawing. See. I got the exoskeleton line that went down, which was the, the nose started. I got a line here that distinguishes where the eyes are. And I've got the eyebrows and the lips. Now, if you guys are wondering what I use to animate my characters, I've been mainly used CorelDRAW. It's the simplest one to use, it's for beginners. And while I'm fixing this up, I'll explain that a little bit more. What you're going to do is, if you're really serious about this, you go buy Corel Draw. It's about $100, but it can be used for other things. You can fix photos with it. You can do a bunch of different stuff with it. So what you want to do is you want to buy Corel Draw. There should be something called a Bezier tool. You click that, and once you scan your image, you basically just click on the outside line, go to here, to here, to here, and you go around the character a whole once the program and then you do the inside lines which is whole process but if I somehow manage to get myself on that and get a hold of that program again see I was using the school version of it my school had it but I moved away so I don't have it anymore so I will probably be using Adobe Premiere once I'm in school to do this and don't expect a fancy video because I don't am using school computers and they don't have the screen recording software oh don't mind me I'm just gonna go off camera here for a second and uh, darken this hair oh man I'm just getting sloppy Okay, I'm off screen, off screen. Okay, let's go back to on screen. So I'm gonna zoom out again. I'm gonna go down here. Maybe a little bit more. And I'm gonna try and stay on screen the whole time. So I'm gonna fix this shoulder. Now you want the shoulders to go just to or just at the chin. Because she is standing at an angle. You gotta realize that. We're standing at an angle here. We're not like this. We're like that almost. You just gotta realize the perspective you're drawing at. Helps a lot. So, um, then you have to decide what kind of arms you want. There is the Gwen arms that curve, there is the Courtney arms that are straight almost, there's Heather arms that are straight, there's Lindsay arms, which are the same as Gwen arms. Um, or you can go with Zoe arms. I've never used Zoe as an example before. But so he just has curves for shoulders. I'm uh, more of a classic tool drama drawer, so I'm gonna use um basically just I don't know, I'm gonna go with Heather Arms. So the easiest ones to draw. Heather arms are easy. So we're just gonna there's you out. My bad. Oh focus. Focus. Okay, there we go. So with other arms, you're just gonna draw a straight line down that goes away from her body. Look at if you if you're not talking about look at a Heather drawing, you'll see. I'm gonna go about right there because that's just in the camera view and it looks just about right. Hold on, I'm just gonna draw an 